So hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 overview for absolute beginners and in this video we are talking about mesh painting, how we can set it up in a very easy way, very basic way. So what you have to do is just go for example in your uh, content drawer, find a um, asset, for example a mesh, in our case let's go to the static mesh component where is it here and i take as an example this rock here sm rock this comes with the start of a content so you should have it too i scale it a little bit up i press r key and scale this a little bit up so it's a little bit bigger and then what i'm going to do is i copy it i press the old key and then when I drag this uh, arrow case and then it's automatically copied and I make here a little, let's say, I placed him here a little bit around to show you something interesting, what we can do with mesh paint and so, but not too much, that's enough. Okay, so how we do actually now the mesh painting, I want paint on this rock a color. And that is called a mesh painting. But how I'm doing this? So what you have to do is you select this rock, you go to the details panel on the right side, you go to materials, you click this magnitude sign, and then it jumps up. And then we open this uh, material, and then we dock it here on the top. And what you can see here right now, it's the material, but I already changed it. It comes normally this way. Let me see, change this. Normally it was it this way. This was the base setting. And what we have to do is just adding these two nodes here and where we have to add it and what are these nodes. So first of all, you right click here on this uh, place and search, um, what was the name of this one? <laughs> vertex color. <laughs> yeah, we search vertex, oops, vertex color. And it pops up here on top and then we select it and we point it here and then we have combined this this is the uh, the original one and this one i need to combine and we do it with this multiplier so you drag out here and write multiplier and then you can see in math it jump pops up here multiplier and what you have to do is now you from before you go in you go here in and the last one, which goes here in, you get it here and connect it here. So, and that was our setup actually. That was all what we needed to do in the material. And then we go to save. After we save that one, we go back after it's saved. It takes a little bit. Okay. And then I go back, I save one more time all because there is still an asterisk. And what we do now is we go on top, we go to the uh, modes which we can select. And here it says mesh paint. And in mesh paint, we are already here. Here are different ones. We, I just show here a very fast and simple one, not all of course. But here we go to colors and then we select paint. And here we have now, oh, that's not wrong. We stay in paint normally. We go to paint, yes. And then here we go down to paint color. And here you select the color which you want. I choose here a red one. And the reason for that is because I simulated a little bit blood. Yes, so not absolute red little bit this kind of red yeah. this kind of red and I select it and now you can see here on the right side let's uh, we don't need here anything oops let's go here so and now when I press here and I can paint already on the stone the way I have set this up you see, this can be a trace for example. Oops, let's do this here on this one too. Why I can't do this here? And now it's a question why I can't paint it here and why I can't paint it there. Uh, let's check this out. Normally, 
the same material, I hope. It should be the same material, and perhaps not because I changed here the instance. So what I have to do to paint it here too, I forgot that, sorry. You go here again to your material. This one we change and apply it to the other ones. Too. That should be do the trick. And if not, then <laughs> I have to search it. So let's go to mesh paint again. Uh, no, uh, I'm here. What's going on? Let's go select this one. Here's the mesh paint. Here's this one. All fine. Here's my select mode. And I select this one. Here's my paint mode. And now, ah, perhaps I just not selected the stone. Perhaps this. And here a little bit red. Oh no, I just not selected it. That was my <laughs> mistake. <laughs> okay, whatever. We learn on the way. And then you go here again to paint and let's make here. So, and why I make this red here on the ground and you can see if you build up a game, this was a very fast prototype. You can see here's a trace and then a monster walked here by, slaughtered, whatever, things and so on. And then you have to find a monster and beat him. And you see this looks already, then that comes with the starter pack, not bad at all. Now, of course, there is much work to do, but for this kind of speed, not bad, not bad. And that was it already with this video. I wanted to show you. There is, of course, a whole of, a lot of other options there to make painting on uh, meshes. But here, a warning. I don't know if this is working with all meshes, but it should. And if not, yeah. Anyway, that still looks cool. And you see, it was very fast. Okay, I stop it here. I hope it helps for fast prototyping, modeling, and doing something here on the surface. And I'm out. Bye.